Hello, Christos. Great to speak to you. How are you today? Uh, hello, Bonnie. I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for bringing this to TIFF. And thank you for shooting this film here. How did we treat you? <laughs> uh, in the best way, I think. <laughs> I really loved being here. I mean, it's uh, Toronto is my second home, so it was really well, this great. Is good. This this is good news. I, I, I appreciate that as a, as a Torontonian and a Canadian. Uh, what, a, what a great film. My God, boy, did it ever make me think. And all I could think about after watching this, and I just couldn't get it out of my mind, do we really need something like technology to tell us if we're really compatible? What are your thoughts, your thoughts on this? Uh, we 1 million percent don't need, but the thing is that People are doing it, no? I mean, people are using these apps and they're swapping with their fingers and nails uh, right or left in order to find uh, the perfect match. Yeah, it's it's pretty insane. And the way that you've presented it here in this film, what was it? How, how What made you start to think about this idea to, to write it and to bring it to the screen? Um, was there an initiative? In a way, I mean, I was always trying to understand what is love. I was always trying to understand why love is so difficult, why love has changed so much from the 2000s to the, the last decade, for example. And I think that for sure one reason is that most of the people are going through these apps. I never use them. I, most of the people are going through social media in order to meet other people. So they're trying to find love, I think, in not their own way, but in a way that for me it doesn't make sense because you need to find... You need to follow more your instinct and you need to go more. Love is an instinctive thing. Of course. Yes, it's in your heart. It's how you feel about somebody. And what's interesting to me, too, is as I'm watching this, you, you meet couples who have been together three years, three months, whatever it is. Clearly, there was that draw there that made them be together. Why do you think that they need that, that validation to, to take that test to make it official? To me, that was just mind boggling. Because I think that we all trying to prove things right now. And we are all trying to even a ring sometimes when we are married. Uh, it's a validation in a way. So we are trying to prove that, okay, I will stay with this person forever. Is the person for me. But is it true? Is it what we... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not married, but I'm just saying no. that. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> It's not true. It, it, yeah, trust me. You can people change. You know, yes. different. They have different likes. Whatever things people change after many many years together. It's a very. It really does make you think. I do have to address this amazing cast. Boy, did you ever hit the jackpot! Like all of my favorite <laughs> actors are in this. The Jesse Buckley. You know, Jeremy Allen White. Boy, did you ever score? Because I was a big fan of his from Shameless, and now he's like this big thing from The Bear and Riz Ahmed, of course, and then our Torontonian Annie Murphy. Boy, how, how cool was that for you to work with this wonderful cast who, I, who really, none of them have any egos. So what a bonus for you. <laughs> uh, that was the biggest bonus. None of them has any ego. That's, that's the good thing, believe me. Because uh, we wanted so much to find, first of all, amazing humans and then amazing actors. And they are all amazing humans. So that was the easiest thing. I mean, uh, we were very lucky. I, all of them were almost our first options. Choices, I mean, that we wanted to have in the film. So it was, I don't know, everybody loved the script, everybody wanted to work together. And uh, I just hope that they are having the chemistry that I really would try to create on the screen and that the audience will feel them. And, uh, and yes, we have also all the Canadian actors that they were amazing. And I'm not talking only about Annie Murphy, who is the best dancer in the world, but uh, yes. I'm talking also about. I love those moves. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Of yeah. course, it was perfect. I mean, I told her that uh, I haven't seen somebody dancing better than her. And uh, But all the Canadian actors were really, really good. And I hope that they will have the chance to to make more movies, even in North America. And yes, I hope that. Yeah, yeah, I, I hope so, too. I, I think we're going to have to get Annie Murphy on Dancing with the Stars. I think she's got a calling. Yes. <laughs> Yes, she has to do that. <laughs> she has to do that. Listen, thank you so much for your time. Again, what a thought-provoking and very interesting, amazing film. Thank you so much, and uh, enjoy your time here in Toronto. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Thank you. Okay, Chris. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.